Are you a photographer? Have you ever looked through your Instagram feed and seen amazing pictures and thought, oh, if only I could take photos like that? Well, you probably could. I'm going to uh, have a little preamble to this section to say that it's, a it's more than a little tongue in cheek. Uh, photographers that take high end photographs do have a lot of talent, they do have a lot of experience. Uh, but I also feel that what you're seeing in an amazing photograph isn't necessarily the photographer. It's a lot of other factors that go into the photo that anyone else, if they use the same factors, could get not an identical, but a pretty similar result. So this are the, these are the 10 steps that you can take if you want to take world-class photographs. Step one, use the best equipment. And I'm not talking uh, the 5Ds or the Nikon whatevers. I'm talking hundreds of thousands of dollars of uh, medium format uh, phase one backs with uh, crazy fast lenses, um, primes, all kinds of things. Step two, hire and shoot the most beautiful, successful models in the world. Uh, I'm not talking about the people on Instagram with 100,000 um, followers. I'm talking about millions of followers. I'm talking about um, the cover girls and the uh, people that appear in movies. This adds an air of glamour and fame and success to your photography. It's A lot of these um, models get millions of likes just for a selfie in the mirror. Uh, so it should be pretty easy if you're shooting the most beautiful people in the world to produce some of the most beautiful photographs in the world. Step three, get incredible wardrobe. Get jackets and coats and shirts and scarves that cost thousands if not tens of thousands of dollars. Get amazing wedding dresses that billow in silk and satin in vibrant bright colors. Just go absolutely crazy. Step four, go to the most exotic, wonderful, amazing locations in the world. Go where no one else has been before. Go to abandoned castles. Go to exotic waterways and rivers. Go to isolated beaches that you have to get there by helicopter. If you want to take a picture no one else has taken before, go somewhere no one else has gone or can go. Shoot at the most beautiful times of day, which means before or after sunset or sunrise. It may take you three days to get there and it, this will mean that you only really have two hours of um, usable light each day but that's when everything looks the most beautiful so that's when you got to shoot. Step six, have a great team and I'm talking about uh, gaffers, lighting technicians, um, digital imaging assistants, have people on set that know how to produce these images and work for other successful photographers. You might not even have to design your own lighting. Someone might do that for you. Someone with a lot of experience that's done it um, hundreds and hundreds of times and knows exactly how to set up the strobes, how to set the exposure on the camera and will give you moment to moment feedback on whether or not your autofocus is working and where you need to compensate. Step seven, use huge expensive lighting modifiers. Put up 20 by 20 silks and bounce you know, millions of watts through them. This will make your photographs be sure to look like nothing else out there. Step eight, don't just take one picture, take thousands of pictures. Just keep your finger on the shutter, <laughs> take as many as you possibly can. By the laws of uh, averages, one of them will look amazing. Step nine, have incredible post-production. Uh, have world-class retouches, do amazing things with the images, take out all the blemishes, reshape that, the model's body, replace the skies with something else, just have someone who really knows what they're doing go to town your images and make them really uh, a step ahead. Step 10, don't just do this once, do it 20 times, do it 50 times. Get really, really comfortable with shooting with all these constraints and gear and equipment. And I guarantee you that the images that you will produce will look as good as anything else out there. Now, professional photographers might be able to tell that you're, you know, just compensating for your lack of talent with um, incredible models and lighting and uh, props and wardrobe and locations and uh, crew. But the average person out there probably won't. The person that's looking at this on Instagram or in a magazine will just see all the factors that went into the photograph and be totally impressed. Those are my 10 steps into creating world-class photographs for anyone that knows how to use a camera. <laughs>
clearly uh, this isn't any, something anyone is jumping into, but it was helpful for me to break down what exactly goes into those images. You, because a lot of the time you're not seeing a particularly great um, photograph. It's not as though the photographer has caught the decisive moment or, or created something really interesting. All that you're really doing is documenting the expense that went into creating the photograph. And that in itself is impressive. And that in itself is interesting. In all seriousness, if you want to set your photography apart from other photos out there, you just have to do what other people aren't doing, which means finding your own voice, finding your own style, um, and creating something that means something to you and doing it enough that you get good at it. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Rubidium. This is the Crimson Engine, and I will see you next time.